Okay, today is the 30th of uh, September, last day of September. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to get out the door. Well, <laughs> they're even up on the bench. I'm going to have the bench on this side because it's raining. So, God, they even got it moved away from the... What? I have to throw some cookies out. That's the only way I'm going to get out there. So, I'm going to toss some cookies out. The only way I'm going to get out and get the camera set up. I got rubber boots on them right here. I got rubber boots on because they're biting my ankles. There, that did that. Now I, now I can get the uh, the camera out and fasten it on here. It's running. Okay, I got the hot dogs here ready. So this is going to be fun. How we're going to set this up? Yeah, it's raining good. So I'm glad I put the the bench over here. So I'll set the camera up here. This way to be able to see Woody too. There we go. And you watch them climb all over me. Alright, move. Move. You get the line on. Got your fight. There we go. Alright, just a minute. Wait. Get off. No, stop. See, they're biting my ankles. That's why you have the big boots on tonight. Alright, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it's raining good up there now. Stop fighting. Here. You get all wound up for the... I already put two pounds out here earlier. Uh, I want to say thank you to Pat Pittman down in uh, New York. I gave her a call today and uh, on the phone. And she knows why I called her. Won't say any more than that. But anyway, and uh, I want to thank. Uh, I was at uh, Jungle Gym tonight. I want to thank Scott, the owner, for. Him and the staff taking care of me the way they had in the last few months. Here! Here! So, Scott's super nice fella. And Allison and Shanice and the gang. They have been going there now steady for the last... Ow! Too much. Stop that! Hit my knee. Just, they're just too aggressive. See, they, they're, they're not, they're not hungry. It's just that they think they are. And you got to show them who's boss. Yep. Stop. Give them a little slap in the snout. Same as you with a dog. Yep. There, Woody. I'll see ya. Boy, oh boy, we're gonna go through these hot dogs tonight. Holy moly. There. Yeah. Here. Here. I should have had my ski pants on. I think I'll do that tomorrow night. They're getting right, right aggressive. Here, Woody. All right, I know you won't take it from me. Here. Here you go. Yes, I see you hauling them on my pants over here. Yep. Here you go. I'm 
going to toss them out. To, and I went out to Upper Stuyak. I got my uh, my chair for Connor, but it's still in the car. It's too wet to take it out. Here. Too wet to take it out. So I'll leave it in there for now, and then we'll find out tomorrow which one Connor's going to sit in. Here, Woody. Yeah, these fellows are going right through. I bought myself a snowblower today at uh, Century Saw Marine. I got a new uh, Columbia, top of the line, power steering. I, I wanted the biggest I could get, and I got it. And uh, thanks to Jane and Ruth Ann at the, uh, the store for helping me out. Jane for showing me the machine, Ruth Ann for guiding us getting it on the truck. Well, I said you saw a marine in the glass. And uh, this is the first time I bought a snowblower in 15 years. But I want to get a good one, so. And it's a good one. I gave the other one to Ron. Rascal! Come here, girl. I haven't seen you for a while. Yep, here we go. Now, see it's dying down a little bit now. See they were super, well they're not hungry, they think they are. So anyway, the chair turned out very nice. So we'll find out tomorrow whose chair it really is going to be. Is Connor going to take that one? Or he's going to take my new one I bought it at uh, about there a month ago. Bought it at Tom Shediak's. Here. One, two, got to feed two at a time. Here. We're going to run out shortly. Hey! Stop! Woody, here you go, buddy. Oh, get it, quick. Get it. Did you get it? Good boy. So it was a nice drive up to uh, Upper Stuyak, except for the rain. Here, Woody. Rain really hard. So Heather's got uh, about 20 raccoons that she feeds, and she's not on the internet. She doesn't have internet or anything out there where she's at. It's out the bushes. She's the one that has the uh, raccoon that's blind. And she does uh, upholstering on the side. And I was surprised she did a real good job. And she got a new leather chair she's doing right now. It looks like a nightmare. Look at that, boy. That's it. We're empty. Alright, now we're going to put the Maybe I'll get some more. What do you think there, Woody? Get some more? Alright. So they ran out of chicken dogs at Toby's tonight. I don't know why. Here. Woody, you can go, Woody. 
I can't even get to the bench. Here. And there's the one hanging off my pant leg here, here. Alright, let me get over. Let me get over. There. There's two more pounds, so that makes eight. So we're going to make another hot dog run tomorrow. And some more grapes. Maybe one pan of grapes there, and that's it. You got it? Okay. You got yours? See, you guys aren't eating them. You're throwing them on the ground. You see, they're getting full now. Where's Woody at? Must have took off. Oh, dear. <laughs> and a good boy. Yes, you are. Here, you have a hole in your big raccoon. You look like you need it. Here. Maybe I'll, maybe Scott will order a, a couple of uh, meals of monkey fingers. <laughs> I wonder if they'd like those if I put an order in. <laughs> yeah. uh, they've had Kentucky Fried Chicken. I bought, I bought them a bucket here one time, a $50 bucket. Well, I didn't have this many. Holy smoke. We need two buckets. Everybody had enough? Did you have enough? See, they're not, they're not so aggressive now. See, they're getting full, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'll save this for bed lunch and I'll put some grapes out here now. Get in there. No, you're not getting in the house. Get. Get. Now I'm going to take the camera in my hand for this. All right. This way we get to see them do eating the grapes. <clears throat> right, fellas? This is what this is what it's like for me. Looking down. Here. Some of them are globe grapes that I had left over. I forgot I had some. See how they eat them? They put their heads way up in the air. Yeah. Anyway, I gave the girls uh, at Century Saw Marine one of my cards so they can log on and see what this is all about here. Make sure you get some. Here you go. <laughs> and uh, Troy Cajon, Cajon came by today from Thorburn. There was a little piece that had to be fixed on my roof. So he done that this morning, 8 o'clock. So that's all done. So don't have to worry about that anymore. Go get your grapes. Don't be looking at me. Go get them. Go on. Go get your grapes. You're missing out. You're too busy wondering what I'm doing. I'm filming, look, see? I'm filming. How about if I start up the new snowblower, see how long you stick around? <laughs> yeah, now there's another pair of pants got to go in the laundry. Yeah, tomorrow night I'm wearing my ski pants. It's super warm the last two or three nights. Uh, it was so hard to sleep. I've been I moved my rear end down to the basement because it's a lot better down there. I, I couldn't sleep upstairs at all. No. It's empty. Look. See, there's nothing in it. Look. See, look. You got to show it to them. Look. See, there's nothing in it. Look. 
Look at that big, that big rump on him. Oh, yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh. So these fellows, actually, when they first came here, uh, most of them are babies, but uh, they're not babies anymore. Here, look, there's nothing in there. See? It's empty. But they, um, they were no, maybe as big as my hand when they come here. There's nothing in there. It's all gone. See? They think I'm mom. This is what it is. That's why they're hanging on to me. <laughs> what? There's still grapes. Eat your grapes. Never mind me. I got one fellow sitting up there. There, see? You you were somewhere where you shouldn't have been, and the big one took off after you. Yeah, Isn't that right? Yes. That's right, Mama. You put them in their place. That's Big Mama. Yeah. What a good girl. What a good girl. She's got to be about probably 25 pounds. Yeah. So these fellows all, once the weather starts getting cold, they'll be taken off for the winter. Uh, they come out on warm days. Once the temperature goes down below five below. Yeah, look at me now. I got necked. I gotta start wearing long sleeve shirts. That's the claws done that. Grabbing at me. Will you get away? The dish is empty. Go away. It's empty. Here, look. There, you see? They all have to check it out, look. <laughs> You gotta check it all out. Do you want some cookies? Uh, do you want cookies? I got them sitting out there. Well, I gave them. Oh, stop it! Listen, stop it. Get in the corner. Get in the corner. Go on. They listen to me. And they've never ever uh, come after me in anger. That's one thing. All right, what I'm going to do is put the cookies in this. I got some Fruit Loops out there. I'm going to throw some Fruit Loops out. They like those. I can get this. Oh, come on! Get this box out. Here we go. Like I said, I need I need a secretary here. In one. Come in, let's throw some cookies out. Uh, who wants a cookie? Here. Here. Don't get out of the box. Here. Take that cookie. There. There. That's that whole package done. Now we got some. Fruit Loops to put out. I like them. But because I'm diabetic, I'm not allowed to eat them. No. Well, you didn't come down. You don't get a cookie. <laughs> you got you got cookies earlier. Okay, I'm going to put this out. The Fruit Loops. You just spread along like that, there. You spread them along.
You come down, did you? Too late, there's no grapes left. You sat up there. That's empty. Here. You didn't want them either. You didn't want them either, did you? Oh, no, you're going to eat one, are you? What? What? Get out of the box. Come on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Look. I got you. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't mind me at all. Yeah. No. Beautiful fur. At least I don't have any late babies this year. I better shut my mouth. Knock on wood. I had, I had late babies last, you know, the year before I had one at Christmas time. Gizmo. What you doing, baby? Huh? What you doing? I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to grab that box. It's built into them to steal. You're not stealing that box. No, you're not. I like that hot dog sign. 25 cents. You think that's what I paid for them hot dogs? 25 cents each? Actually, I got them for $1.97. For, for a dozen. But if you buy the like the regular hot dogs, the, like the name brand, you're looking at five bucks a pound. And these go out, these guys go between eight and twelve pounds. Imagine how much that would cost. Yeah. So they stick with the cheap ones, but they 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 like it. Yeah. All right, I think that's enough, isn't it? Is that enough video, you guys? Huh? Is that enough video for you? Is it? And the one that did the chair did this sign. Jim's Diner. Heather McLean out in uh, Upper Stuyak. She did the sign for me. And that's the skybox. I built two of them. There's one on each side. Yeah. That's the skybox. What's up here now? All right. We're gonna check on uh, Connor. Check. Everybody wants to see the Connor cat. Oh my god, it's warm in here. Whew. So the rest of the hot dogs, there's not many left. I'll toss them out later. There's Charlotte. Both of them came from the same shelter in uh, Halifax on Bayers Road. That's where it used to be, but it's like a new address now. And that's Connor Cat, for those that never met him. He's a Norwegian forest cat, and uh, she's uh, she's calico, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Good night from uh, Churchville, Nova Scotia, Canada. See you tomorrow night, folks. Say goodbye, Connor.